Maybe someone can relate to this. We went out for maybe like a month and a half and then um, I, I, I got ghosted. I thought this person was normal. I'll show you guys, actually I'll show you my profile. Ugh, how humiliating. Okay, so this is my profile. Hi guys, what's up? I'm Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. Make sure you guys are subscribed and click that notification bell and let's get on with this very real, very awkward, very interesting video. <laughs> As you can see by the title today, we're going to be talking about dating in LA. I thought it would be really funny to make a series about dating in LA because I find it very interesting and I thought my personal story maybe can help other people such maybe you'll get to know a little more about me plus this is very awkward for me because I don't talk about my dating life really with anyone except my best friends so why not share it with the world okay so <laughs> dating in LA so I am Amanda I am 24 years old and I just started dating now before you say anything yes I know it's late quote unquote late because everyone has their own timeline of how they do things but I guess at the regular 24 year old no one really starts dating at 24. Most people start dating at what like in high school and like college and stuff like that and this is just my personal story. Okay so as you guys know or don't know I moved out here to LA from Virginia and I came out here literally two weeks after high school and I went to a fashion school. Keep in mind I went to a fashion school so there are not really many straight guys there. Um, and I came out here to pursue my dreams in the fashion industry to learn about styling and all that stuff and that's what I really wanted to do. So that's why I came out here to LA. In no way or mind were there any boys in my mind or anything. In high school, I didn't have a boyfriend that I left or anything, blah blah. I don't even count high school as having boyfriends even though I had, I think, two or something. Yeah, I came to LA right after high school, went into college, really focused on like pursuing my dreams, getting into the industry, and as you guys saw, I actually kind of fell apart from YouTube for two years because of trying to figure out myself, trying to figure out my job situation and all that. So fast forward to age 23 and about to be 24 on November 5th and I was like, hey, I'm gonna try to do this boyfriend thing. <laughs> I finally decided to start dating at 24 because I was like, it's about time. Like this whole time I've kind of had this feeling of it would be really great to have a boyfriend but if not that's fine too. But now I'm like I really think I'm ready for a boyfriend. It'd be like nice to have someone like in my life, you know what I mean? And yeah, so I decided 24 is my year to try to start dating. So that's what I did and this is my personal story of how I did that. So I am a homebody. I'm a type of person who doesn't really go out partying. I don't drink and I feel like most people kind of meet people that way like at bars or at parties or like having guy friends or like having friends with guy friends who are single blah blah blah. I don't really have that. So yeah, so I guess here's some personal information about me. I'm Amanda, I am 24 years old. I do not drink, I do not smoke, I do not do drugs, and blah 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 blah. Um, out here in LA, I will tell you, there are a lot of people who smoke. There are a lot of people who do drugs. Um, there are a lot of people who do weed too. And um, that's just not my, not my scene, not me. Um, yeah, that kind of like eliminates majority of the population here for me. So I love that for me. <laughs> so yeah, so the first thing I did, I was like, let's try these like little apps. Let's try Bumble. Let's try OkCupid. Let's try Hinge and let's try Tinder. Let's go through all four of those. I decided to download Hinge because I was like, I heard a lot of good things about Hinge. Now Hinge apparently is the one where like it can, can connect to your Facebook and then find people through there. But I did not connect my Facebook, but somehow it worked its little magic. And yeah, I like really like Hinge, I decided, because it gives you like photos. You can do like six photos and then it kind of tells you like what you can. Here, I'll show you guys. Actually, I'll show you my profile. Ugh, how humiliating. Okay, so this is my profile. Wait, oh my god, I have an idea. I'm gonna screen record my, I'm gonna screen record and then I will talk to you and put it next to me. Okay, I'm a genius. Okay, 
as you can see on your screen right here this is my profile page so this is the picture I usually always use because like hey this is a nice like normal photo it's a car selfie my smile shows I look normal so I use that one as my opening liner <laughs> one so you can in this app you can choose different things like little prompts of what you want people to say or little information about yourself so the one I chose was what I'd like to know about you so I said describe yourself in emojis. I find this very useful because one, I'm a visual learner. So I just like everything to me is like visual and I work in social media. So I'm like, let me see how you describe yourself in emojis. Like for, I'll tell you how mine is because obviously <laughs> I describe myself in emojis. Um, so my next one is one I thought was kind of like funny slash relatable slash shows my awkwardness where I'm sitting in a grocery cart in <laughs> in a random grocery store i was literally like to my roommate lauren take a picture of me in this grocery grocery store in a grocery cart i think it'll be funny so i thought this one was kind of like ha ha he he um the next one is about me so i put that i'm 24 i put my height which i'm 5'4 um i live in like central la like la blah blah um i say i don't smoke i don't smoke cigarettes i don't smoke weed i don't do drugs I personally don't put anything about me drinking because I feel like whenever I say I don't drink that literally turns off everyone until so I'm like I'm just not gonna say anything and then but I will stalk you and see like what you say um I say I work in social media because either way you're gonna find out anyways um I say I'm from Virginia because you know gotta rep my hometown this next one this next photo is me in a dressing room in TJ Maxx because one, I love to shop. Two, I thought this outfit was really cute. And three, I was like, why not another selfie moment? This next one, I actually took, I think on my birthday with my friend at Catch LA. I was like, hmm, maybe this one can be like, hee hee, I'm cool. <laughs> Even when my, I'm trying to say that I'm cool, I obviously know I'm not. So that's why I did that one. This next one is important to me. I is so this next prompt I said is I'm looking for and I personally am looking for a relationship. I know what I want and I'm not looking for anything less. I do not want to hook up with anyone. I don't want to be dating around. I basically said I'm looking for someone who wants a relationship, who's sweet, ambitious, and funny. Because that's very important to me. Because I really want someone who's like very nice. I really want someone who's like ambitious and who's like really like knows what they want or like is really going towards a dream or someone who's just like dedicated you know what i mean and then i also want someone who's funny because why not like have a laugh <laughs> so here's the thing that's interesting i guess about me but i don't expect this from anyone else so i'm looking for someone who wants a relationship i'm the type of person where i will date only one person at a time i know technically like you're allowed to date other people like dating means you see multiple people I personally can't do that because I feel I know it's not cheating because you're not officially a couple but to me I just rather focus on one person at a time and if they don't work out then that's okay I don't want them to feel like there's pressure of me like wanting to have a relationship like just like that like I, that's not at all it's just my personal preference I don't want to be dating around I don't want to see multiple people at the same time I just that's just me so yeah <laughs> so this next photo I chose this one I took a beauty comp pop in like the Drake room I was like hee hee don't boys like rap <laughs> I personally really like Drake I thought this photo kind of made me look cool again so that's why I chose that one and then for my last prompt oh the air is on so for my last prompt um I chose my personal brand so I decided to be like this is me blah blah so I said I'm Amanda hee hee face I'm from Virginia to LA. This is my life summed up in emojis. So it kind of goes back to circle back to that one I said above. So it kind of circles back to the question I asked them. And then this is what they can see from me. So I put the movie emoji, the shopping emoji, the art, like little palette emoji. And I put a ton of food, stars, bunnies, little hearts, and a selfie. And I guess I'll explain what they th mean to me. So my movie camera means I like making videos. My shopping one obviously means I like shopping and I like fashion. The little palette means I find myself to be like a creative person. So that's why I put that. I put the pizza, the hamburger, and the fries because they're, those are definitely some of my favorite foods. I love my carbs. So 
that's that. A star because I think stars are actually my favorite shape. Stars are just something I always, I just like stars. Um, bunny because, you know. <laughs> and then hearts because I just like, I just like hearts. I think they're really fun. And then selfies because obviously, you know, I'm self-conceited and I just love, like taking pictures of myself and talking to myself in the camera. Um, and then I say, how about you? And then I say, let's chat. Honestly, I'm more on Instagram, DM me, which I honestly am. Like, this is another thing. With these appy thingies, I'm not really on them very much. Like, I'll go on them, but then I'll forget about it. So if people do message me, I will literally forget. So I'd rather someone just, like, DM me on Instagram. But I have gotten DMs, and they are very creepy, I will say. So thank you for DMing me, but I'm not interested. Um, so yeah, I have that. And then my last picture I have is <laughs> a picture where I actually got my makeup done for, like, the first time. I thought I looked real good. And I like my little pink puffy, and I was like, hey, why not? So that's my dating profile. <laughs> so yeah, that's my hinge dating profile. Um, hee hee ho ho oh. <laughs> Number one, Bumble. Okay, Bumble is a great concept where girls get to talk first, blah, blah. I personally am very awkward. I don't really know what to say to guys. And like, I'm just kind of like the person who's like, hey. And then it's always funny because Bumble's like, are you sure you want to send that? It's like, yeah, because I don't really know what else to say. And your prompts are weird. On um, Bumble, a lot of boys seem unattainable, not real. And just like, yeah. So I deleted Bumble. Uh, my next app, Tinder, which is the most popular one that everyone knows of. Literally, I hate Tinder. I think it's a waste of time for me. It mainly has people on there who do not want relationships. They smoke, they party, they do drugs, they aren't real, they catfish, they just want to hook up and that is not my scene and I deleted that real quick. Um, the next one will be OkCupid. OkCupid I really like because it kind of lets you stalk. <laughs> And I like being able to stalk people because finding someone on an app to me feels very weird. But at the same time, it's very normal. Slash, I don't know any other way how I'm going to meet anyone unless I'm like at a grocery store, like picking up an apple. And like there's a boy there picking up an apple too and be like, oh my god, you're my soulmate. But I know that's obviously not realistic and I'm not going to find a guy at a grocery store. Because that's literally the only place I go where maybe straight man, man males are. <laughs> um, so yeah, so... Okay, keep it. I started using Okay, keep it. And I was going through it and everything, and I finally found one person to like go out with. Blah blah. Now this person was like really great, really normal, seemed really great. And I, so when I did this Okay, keep it thing, you can like swipe right and swipe left, like yes or no. And on there, they have a ton of different questions and prompts. It for like if you answer, they answer. It takes a long time to fill out and stuff but I don't mind that because I'd rather know as much information as I can because I don't want to waste anyone's time I know what I want and if it's if you're not it then you're not it so my main concerns are you better not smoke weed you better not smoke cigarettes you better not do drugs those are my main ones that you cannot do like no 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 I will definitely not be interested I there's no wiggle room for you to even meet me or even say hi to me or anything. I, I just cannot deal with that. And in LA, a lot of people do. And yeah. So as I said earlier, I don't personally drink alcohol. Um, I don't like it. I know everyone's like, no one likes alcohol. But I really just don't like it. I don't find the point of like drinking alcohol. I personally have medical problems where my heart is already fast or it's like I already have like anxiety. I don't want to not be in control of my body. I like being the mom of the group. Like I'll take care of you and all that stuff. It's just like not for me. But if you drink, that's fine. And I'm looking for someone who like they can drink. And I don't mind if they drink as long as they don't drink every single day and they don't party. So yeah. Oh yeah. Another thing that I'm not really into is like party people because I don't personally like parties. Like parties give me anxiety attacks. Like I'm the type of part per. per I'm the type of party person who likes going to like cookie parties or like DIY parties or like chill parties. I do not like like bumping music, let's do drugs and all that kind of stuff. So that's not for me. So where was I even talking? Where was I even on the tangent? Oh yeah. So it, okay, keep it. So I finally started <laughs> going through okay, keep it, blah 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 blah. And I found this one guy who seemed like really normal. 
like really nice we were like started talking we we're like talking maybe for a month which was kind of cool because i was like okay like this is going good and then this person particularly had a youtube channel which i thought was kind of funny and cool because i was like oh i do youtube and then this person does youtube and i can kind of kind of see and like it's like sketch out to see like how they actually are as a person so of course i stalked for like a little bit you know and they seemed really normal they finally asked me out on a date we went out for maybe like a month and a half and then um i i, I got ghosted so that's great like that was <laughs> yeah i got ghosted so that was honestly quite annoying i got quite like blindsided like everything i thought was like pretty fine and it was literally like a month and a half of like dating and actually going out and doing stuff i would see the person maybe like a few times a week blah 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 but yeah um, i literally got ghosted so love that for me and now that's something that i have to look out for which i do not know how to look out for and also i thought this person was normal so what i think is normal and going through all those obstacles of what i did not want in a person now i have to look out for the normal ones the normal quiet ones on youtube just the normal quiet people i have to look out for so yeah um yeah so i got ghosted um that sounds like such a millennial thing like why didn't it work out oh i got ghosted like it's just weird after that i was like okay bye i guess so yeah basically that is my la dating life so far i've only really dated one person i'm currently like i personally don't feel embarrassed about you know never really having a boyfriend like dating like at 24 like i feel like this time is like right for me this is my personal story and this is just how i'm doing things and like if i meet someone along the way that'd be like really great and if not i'll keep searching and someone will eventually come into my life who's relatable to me slash you know my significant other so honestly i want to do this video not only to just talk about my personal story but also to document for myself to see how i grow within this little la dating world or whatever um i treat this youtube channel kind of as a diary of like what i do so i thought that's why i kind of wanted to do this and also just maybe someone can relate to this maybe someone else out there like just started dating at 24 and like is a late bloomer as they say and maybe you guys can relate also and i just want you guys to know that you're not alone and yeah we'll see how this whole journey goes